guys, Jenny with On Fire Fit, and I am doing a ballet workout in my little secret room, and I hope that you will join me. This is an all-over body workout. My husband and I actually went to the gym this morning, and we only had 30 minutes, so I did my running program on the treadmill. I will link my running program that I follow, but I did that for my 30 minutes, but I didn't get to do weights or stretching or anything like that. So I thought I will film my home workout when I'm not at the gym. So I hope you'll join me. Okay, so I did a bar workout that is a YouTube video. And if I can find it again, I will link it below. So if you see my eyes darting away, it's because I'm watching the gal on the screen that is leading this. And yes, I teach a exercise ballet class, but I love to follow other people from time to time. It really, well, it not only gives me ideas, but it also sometimes it's really nice not to have to be the one in charge. So anyway, here we're just sort of warming up and stretching. And I always claim to not be the most flexible or the strongest or the most beautiful in ballet, but I just love it. And so we just do what we can do. So anyway, I hope that you'll join me. A lot of this stuff is really good for warming up your whole body your back, your shoulders, your hamstrings, calves, all of that kind of stuff. I left in all of my wandering around here because I figured you probably needed time to go get your weights if you're doing this with me. So these are three pound weights and you will see that three pounds will get the burn going. If you do enough reps, it is definitely going to set you on fire. And uh, when my husband has done some of my ballet workouts, He'll use a five pounds and yeah, it'll burn. I mean, if you're doing more than 10 reps of anything and you're doing them repetitively, then you more than likely are going to feel a burn. And there's, of course, benefit to lighter or heavier weights, but this one for sure, I could not have gone heavier on it. So I changed my angle here partly because I was afraid I was going to hit the desk and then you can see me laughing here. I'm not coordinating this as well as I would like, but it actually feels really good. I think I'm going to do this one in my class at some point. But anyway, hopefully you are doing this with me and not just watching.
Okay, when I start shifting around like that, you know things are burning. I'm just trying to distract myself. And I'm doing a lot of intentional breathing there. So you can see I am getting warm and feeling the upper body burn quite a bit here. Okay, I definitely got way too hot. I needed to get that jacket off. So now I always like to tell my class, it's funny, I would never buy a cutoff top for, well, for any reason really, but workouts and stuff. But with all of my belly surgeries, my husband intentionally started buying me those because he was like, you should be proud. So he's very sweet. If I have any cute clothes whatsoever, he bought them. He buys a lot of my Lululemon clothes, which is what I have on here. And he's like not ashamed of my big old belly scar. So I don't know if you can even tell in this video, but I would normally not buy a cutoff tank top, but we go with it since he says that it's a good thing. <laughs> If you join me for the Patreon version of this video, I do a bunch of floor ab work and I try not to get these videos too long, but on the Patreon version, they are the full throttle. And so join me over there if you want the extended version. So you can tell I have ankle weights on for all of these exercises, but you definitely do not have to have those to do this. I teach my ballet class without ankle weights, and so you do not need them. In fact, if you've never done any of this stuff, first of all, check with your doctor. Secondly, definitely go without the ankle weights because this just takes it to the next level. Okay, this is where I get very awkward because I had not practiced this one before. So kick the back, tap the front, and then a curtsy. But I was definitely not coordinated very well. And guess what I just did? I kicked the wall. So I'm checking out the damage to my toenail. <laughs> it, it scraped off some of my polish. Okay, but anyway, so really I did this wrong. Back, and then there you go, front. You tap the opposite hand. And it actually is pretty cool because it does something for your abs when you have to do that little crossover. So it doesn't look like much, but I could feel it. So I would try it. Okay, and then lifting one leg and doing that same thing definitely makes a big difference, especially in your oh quads. You're going to feel this so one a lot. Burning my muscles. I mean, it's a good thing, but <laughs> you can see on my face, I'm like, whoa, mama, because now we're going into another set of these same ones again. 
I think one time around did it and then we had to blast me out with the second round, but it's good. Now I am rolling up onto the balls of my feet and doing the same thing. Remember, this is not part of the exercise video, but I figured rather than fast forward, I would just do something that would still work my core. And this kind of does your legs as well as your core. So another modification. My daughter came in to ask me a question, have a little chat. So if you see me looking over, that is my little princess that came in. Even though she's 19, she'll always be my little princess. So get ready, I stand up and get some ankle weights and I didn't put you through the process of watching me put those on, but you do not need ankle weights. You can definitely do this without. And then I would definitely recommend a more stable chair than what I was holding on to. Maybe a desk or something, but I figured if I turned to the side where holding on to that desk, you wouldn't have been able to see very well, but that chair is not very stable. But I do a lot of this stuff without ankle weights in my class and I feel it, but I figured I would add the ankle weights since the instructor recommended it. But if you're not used to this, I would definitely do without ankle weights. to side two just when we thought we were done we have a whole nother side to go <laughs> all right so I'm getting very warm in here and I thought I would get these out of the way so I don't start kicking that I already kicked the wall don't need to kick my weight so okay so get ready second side here we go
So you're gonna have to let me know, do you like these indoor home workouts? And if so, I will try to make more of them. Truth be told, it is a lot more, I don't know, easy for me to stick with it when I know I am creating a full video. Sometimes all of a sudden when I'm working out at home alone, I think, oh, I should switch over the laundry or something gets in the way. So you guys keep me accountable. So I am so glad you've been with me today. <laughs> I definitely got a good workout and I hope that you have an on fire day. I'll see you soon.